Do you need to grind stone? Are you in a hurry to file your nails? Maybe you just like watching things spin. Introducing the Cab King. It can grind stone. It can file your nails, but don't. It spins. Bye now. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah. Believe it or not, this is not a sponsored video. Um, I have a list here, pros and cons, about buying and owning the Cab King. And uh, I, I guess I'll just go over it with you guys so you can make an informed decision. You can decide if this is right for you. First of all, it's really easy. Uh, it's easy to set up, it's easy to use, and I really appreciate that. Everything is really easy to put together. It's usually just like plastic couplings that you're dealing with. The only difficult part actually is setting up the tubing in the back. It's kind of hard to get the plastic tube to stay around the little plastic nipple. The nipple. But once you get it in there, it's good, and I haven't had any problems since. If you do happen to have problems with it, customer support is extremely good. They have a little number right on the base of the device, and you can call it up, and you'll talk to someone. In, in my case, I was worried about vibration. There was a little teeny bit of vibration, so I called up and I wanted to make sure it was normal. They were like, take a cell phone video, email it to us, we'll check and tell you. That, I thought that was pretty cool. I thought that was very cool. So I sent them the video, they said, nope, that's completely normal, it's fine. Everything looks good, you've set it up correctly, good job. And I felt very confident. So yeah, that was awesome. Uh, in terms of durability, I'm not sure how long I've had it now. Uh, I might just put that in a title because I'll find it out after I record this, but it's been a while and I've had absolutely zero problems, so I would say it's pretty durable as well. I do worry about those plastic couplings, but seriously, they're absolutely fine. I've had no problems yet and they don't show signs of like plastic stretching, if you know what I mean. Like it's going to get brittle later. I don't see that happening. Um, and of course the important parts are like metal on metal connections, like the lamp. And of course, I mean the shaft, the shaft is like super, super solid. It comes with six wheels. Yeah. I think the entire set of wheels needs to be shifted up one because it starts with 80 and for Opal, at least 80 is like dangerous. You use 80 and it will chip. So I have, I have only used it once. It's, it's like violent and very rough, very coarse. I, I start with the 220, maybe. That's like the second to the left one. Um, usually I just use the 280 and then I go straight to polish. The 280 does the trick. So I think I, what I'm going to do is buy like, you know, something above 3000, maybe like a 14,000 wheel. And then I'm going to um, remove the 80 and just start with 220 and go up to 14,000. Yeah, so anyways, I, I, I've been looking at Nova wheels, you know, everybody seems to advocate for Nova wheels. Uh, so I will get those and I'll do another review for those and tell you guys if they are good, which I'm sure they are. People love them. Anyway, um, these wheels, it seems like, I don't know how long I've had them, but they are a little bit worn out now in terms of the center being much less abrasive, noticeably less abrasive than the sides. Um, I think this probably happens to a lot of wheels, but it happened pretty quickly and the center really is much, much less abrasive now. So, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll be getting new wheels. I, I haven't tried any other wheels before, so I don't have much to contrast there. I'll just tell you that in the amount of time I've had them, which is um, the center has worn down considerably and I, I use the sides sometimes. <clears throat> Let's see. 
Um, one thing I don't like about it, which I was warned by Mike, um, is that if you have big hands, it can be really difficult. Um, you know, just to hold it with two hands feels very scrunched for me. And especially when I'm using a dop stick and I want to do the sides, the you know, the shape of the opal, um, my fingers will hit the other wheel as I'm trying to hold the stick uh, perpendicular or, yeah, perpendicular to the wheels. So, yeah, kind of hard if you have bigger hands. I see why those other opal stations are so big and spaced out with the wheels. Um, wish I had that, but this is honestly fine. It's not bad enough that I can't do the job. Um, there are these adjustable little hand pads, which seem to be the right height for me, which is awesome. So yeah. It comes with a water pump and the water pump works very, very well. It says in the instructions never to run it dry. It's like never ever run it dry. I've accidentally let it run dry many times and I think the noise it makes has become slightly louder which is probably not good but it works the same way it always has so you know the water pump seems to be quality to me one of the little knobs on the top came a little bit weird there's like the one on the far right it requires way too much rotation to get to the point where it's releasing water so sometimes I <laughs> I'll be like really busy uh, at least the first months and I think that it's broken uh, and now I just remember that it's like my bum knob and I have to turn it several times to get it started and then I have to turn turn it several times to turn it off it also comes with a thing smock which is awesome uh, it broke when I was break dancing in a previous video but I'm going to assume that most of you won't be breakdancing with it, so that should be it should be fine. It's it's made of some thick rubber, it'll keep you dry, and I don't know, it's like a nice little gift. I, I go crazy for that type of stuff. I really liked the smock. I think the smock looked good. Maybe that's why I breakdanced in the smock. Maybe I just want to wear a smock like a fashion statement. And maybe people are too judgmental about that because I think that fashion should be free and I should be able to wear a smock wherever I want to without being looked at funny, ridiculed, or people throwing paint at me. <clears throat> yeah, that's true. I went to Home Depot and they were throwing paint at me. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. The other awesome thing that I really liked about this and one of the reasons I was able to get it is the option to go on a payment plan. If you have Amazon credit, uh, you have this option. And I think I did about you know, like 10 payments of uh, like $117 or something something around those lines. And uh, it's, it's going very well and it's well, well worth it. And the money that I have been able to make from using this machine is quickly covering the cost of the you know the monthly bill in other news i've had a lot of interest in the contralus opal and people are wondering about the price and people are wondering if i'm going to cut the bubbles out of the bottom uh, i'm not going to cut the bubbles out of the bottom and the price is somewhere around 1500 i haven't quite decided yet i want to make sure that i get a fair valuable price but yeah the stone is pricey and I really lucked out thanks to Frank from uh, Opaholics RS the guy hooked me up give them a visit uh, or else I will find you I have your name I have a list of followers um, I will find you I will come to your front door and you know be polite but it's gonna be awkward and the same goes for if you unfollow me I get notifications for everybody who unfollows and I will find where you live and I will knock on your door and it will be an awkward moment. You'll feel uncomfortable. You'll say, man, this guy's creepy. That's kind of stalkerish. You know, maybe his character on the internet isn't all that much aligned with who he really is because he's here at my doorstep and this is, you know, it's painfully awkward. So don't unfollow me. Uh, you know, avoid that whole thing. And also... <laughs>